Hi everyone, um, we've got a bit of a different review today. I've never reviewed uh, a set of coaches before, so I thought when I got these, I would do a review on them. Um, as you can see, it's the new Brighton Bell Pullman cars. Um, these are the, the newest version, which have um, just the standard NEM pocket couplings, um, which is going to make it a lot easier now for me to incorporate these coaches into my Belmond British Pullman that is in the works. Um, rather than having to rewire the existing ones, all I only have to do is swap the bodies to get the correct num uh, colour roofs and uh, yeah, replace the names. So, all going well. That should be uh, not very long in the making. So, we'll have a quick look at these. Um, so, as you can see there, it says on the bottom it's got uh, third class car number 85, first class Mona and first class Gwen. The two first class ones are the kitchen cars um, and the third class car is the parlour car. Um, and then on top um, it shows the Brighton Bell driving units at the top and then at the bottom the full rake and how the train should be made up. Um, so the other side is basically the same as this side. So we will have a quick look at one now, and there we go. So as you can see, this one is First Class Kitchen Mona. Um, as always with all of Hornby's Pullman's, fantastically detailed. Um, table lamps that light up, obviously. Separately fitted handrails, um, roof vents, roof pipes. All the usual detail that you find on them is present on these, as usual. Uh, printed curtains, lovely interior. Um, as you can see inside there, maybe just, if we turn the flash on, uh, interior there you can see inside the kitchen where they even have a rough representation of the sinks. Um, moving along, there's the table lamps and the tables and chairs. Here we can see the chairs. Along the roof we have plenty of rivet detail. There is multitudes of it. Um, obviously these were steel construction so the roofs were riveted. Unlike the original ones where they were uh, canvas covered I believe. Um, and we've got the water filler pipes at the end there and the roof vents. Um, those three black dots, um, the Brighton Bell name boards were on there. Um, I removed these um, planning to repaint the coach roof but then decided it was a lot easier just to get or try and get the older bodies that already had the roof painted because then they would match. Um, what I have noticed is the pickups are only on one of the bogies so um, each coach is individually lit um, but yes the, the pickups are only on one of the bogies um, and there we can see just the standard NEM coupling pocket um, moving around to the end, you can see inside the coach, um, plenty of detail on the end there, let's see if we can, 283 something, does that mean uh, the schedule number, 43 tons, um, this is legible under a microscope guys, um, magnifying glass sorry, um, there's the Pullman crest, And then we've got the name printed there, beautifully printed. Um, the underframe is very sparse. Um, there wasn't much on these, um, but we've got um, the air brake tanks, obviously, and the battery boxes. So, we'll have a quick look at the other side. Um, and there we go. Good detail, as on the other side. A few more windows on this side, or maybe they're just more spread out. They are, they're just more spread out. Um, so, yeah. But yes, so there we go. That is the new Brighton Bell coach pack. Um, as I said, these are going to my Belmont British Pullman, or VSOE British Pullman rake. Um, I have other coaches on the way for that at the moment that I've hunted for for ages. Um, the K-type Pullmans, the first release of them, um, the all-steel K-type Pullmans rather, um, with the 
cream roofs. Um, the later ones had grey roofs. So the original release, I met, did manage to find a couple of them. So they're on the way. So we've got um, 4871 Packer 3. Brighton Bell Pullman Trailer First Mona, Trailer Third Number 85, and Trailer First Gwen. So there we go. Um, now I have a second set of coaches to review. So we will be back with those shortly. And here we have the um, GWR Collet coaches. Um, these are the BR Maroon versions. Um, these are really the first time we've had a true Great Western coach done to super detail standard. Um, obviously we had the Hawksworths uh, about seven or eight years ago, but they were introduced right at the end of the GWR. And in fact, the first ones didn't run until 1949. Um, so technically they never ran under GWR. Um, the first lot were painted in chocolate and cream originally, um, but very quickly lost it to the carmine and cream or blood and custard and then maroon after that. Um, so these are the first true GWR coaches that we've had super detailed. They are fantastic coaches. Obviously they exist in the railroad range as well um, and the Thomas range as Gordon and Henry's coaches. Um, but we'll take a look at these and um, see what they're like. Um, I won't get them all out obviously. I'll just get one of them out and have a look. The standard is the same across all of them. Um, so we will get one out now and have a quick look at it. And so here we have the left hand corridor brake. Um, all these coaches were classed as either left or right handed. Um, the corridor, in theory, was always on the same side of the train. Um, so we'll have a quick look at these um, and have a closer look. So um, these ones have, get a bit closer there, uh, it's quite a bit shorter this one than the Pullman cars. Um, <clears throat> yeah, quite a bit shorter. 240 something mil I think these ones are, as opposed to almost 300 for the Pullmans. So as you can see, these ones have got uh, plenty of separately fitted detail. The pipes along the roof are separately fitted. Um, all the vents are separately fitted. We've got water, water filler pipes at this end for the bathrooms. Um, the bathroom window is frosted, um, which is a nice touch. Um, and then obviously we've got the security bars over the guards van area. Um, printing is minimal. Um, sorry, lettering is minimal rather. We have the coach number there and then guard there. Um, apart from that, there is not really a lot. We have the no smoking signs on a couple of the compartments. Um, but um, as you can see, the handrail here door grab handles, they're all separately fitted. Um, as you can see the interior, the seats have been picked out in red and also in the guards area there you can see um, his brake standard that he would wind to turn on the handbrake, um, which is a nice touch to see some internal detailing like that. Um, he's got his wee seat in the corner there that you can see. So yes, the seats are picked out in red um, as per the prototype. Um, there's the frosted window of the lavatory, as it would have been called back then, not toilet. Um, so yes, as you can see, fantastic detail. Big jump over the originals, um, which did lack relief in some places. Um, these definitely don't. They are very, very well detailed. Um, we've got the um, turn metal wheels with the double holes in the, in the wheel face um, underneath. Again, so similar to the Pullman's, not much on the underframe. Um, obviously, brake application equipment, uh, battery boxes, and of course we've got the NEM couplings. Uh, moving to the um, van end, we've got um, these come in every box, two of these in every box. Um, they can be removed. Um, sprung buffers, obviously, um, and there's some nice molded detail on the end here. Um, the corridor has, um, so the bellows have uh, what appears to be the um, holding up mechanism, for lack of a better word, better description. Um, underneath the corridor too there is the um, coupling hook. 
Um, some nice detail around here with the handle. Uh, and then moving down the other side. Slight difference on this side is um, obviously it's a corridor, so this side has the bigger windows, um, whereas the other side just had um, um, a medium window, a little window on the door, and then a medium window. This one has um, the big windows, which have uh, the handrail printed across each one. Um, that could be a separate fitting on the inside, I'm not sure. It looks just to be. Um, printed detail but I could be wrong there. Um, inside the parcels area we can see it's got a planked surface. Um, some through that window, uh, there we go, uh, inside those bars you can see straight through. So obviously um, you could go during the journey um, and see, I don't know if there was an attendant or anyone on duty in there, um, but you could go and talk to them and check that everything was okay with your luggage um, if need be. Uh, moving down again, you can see straight through there. Nicely molded detail, good colouring, I think. Um, I don't know 100%. Um, and then around to the other end, we have the open corridor. There we are, there's a nice molded door inside there. Um, and then, of course, we've got the uh, lamp iron there. Um, and we have another lamp iron there and another one on there. Um, some good detail for the steps there. Um, up to the roof and um, nice to see there are so many rivets these coaches do come with these replacement couplings um, I will show you inside one of the boxes um, it comes with um, blank um, pieces of plastic as well um, so inside it comes with uh, the coastal couplings. We've got uh, name boards here for you to add your own name boards um, of different coaches. And then um, two gangway covers for each coach. Um, so yes, overall a big, big improvement over the original Collet coaches in the Hornby range. Um, there is, um, the, the GWR versions are available. I have a set of Blood and Custard on its way from uh, Kurnow um, Model Rail Centre. So they're all winging their way to New Zealand as we speak. Along with the uh, Hornby 2019 catalogue, um, which I have placed several pre-orders for from Hattons. Um, notably the Hogwarts Express um, range, um, including the loco coaches and the buildings that are being re-released as Hogsmeade station this time. Um, I've also ordered the uh, Flying Anglia and the Night Bus, which is uh, being released by Corgi this year. So um, yeah, exciting year coming up. Um, lots of other pre-orders done as well. Um, the Blue Scotsman, the Purple A4, Bittern, um, several other locos as well, obviously. The new large prairies um, have been ordered, the BR versions of those. Um, yes, so plenty of excitement coming up this year. Um, good to see a suburban range of Great Western coaches being released as well, um, up to modern standards. So um, until next time guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you all soon.